hi guys this is me at all uh, today I will show you how to perform the denial of service attack DRS uh, I'm actually using two a virtual two virtual machines running in one system uh, I this machine here hosting the the server running a server actually Apache 2 and hosting a web page uh, I will show you what the the web page that I just created under this URL cool example that's come okay we have it running now so we will go to but before we go to the client and start the attack we need to know the IP address of this machine oops okay the IP address here is the uh, one in to 168 139 133 and I'm linking this IP address to the this uh, URL so let's go to the client side where I will start the attack from there okay from this okay yeah you can see here from the client side we can access that home page using the let me start again this one okay using the same URL or we can use the IP address which is one yeah this IP address that means the clients now can access our web page on our, ser on our server so from this machine I will start the denial of service attack now okay uh, yeah I'm gonna use this uh, script here yeah this is the script we're gonna run to launch the denial of service attack okay using this command I already have it oops sorry either I can have the IP address as I show you before it's dot 139 or I can write the URL here cool example.com now let's start this one we can see it's running too many buckets now it's been for what it's sending to the server machine and now let's go again and try to see if we can access sorry I think we should we need to close the server the browser and run it again cool example what's going on shouldn't be the case yeah now you see the page is still loading since the server is receiving too many buckets now cannot handle we have you can see here either I click on this cool example still trying to connect but there is no response coming from the server side how to stop this kind of attack what I'm trying to do but before I stop it I just want to stop this and show you again what happening here now it should back to work sorry cool example yeah just close all these yeah now we have again the surface Th which means the server is response since I'm uh, since I already stopped the attack so how to stop such kind of attack from the client side from the server side from the server side we need first to know what is the IP address of this one the IP address is dot one three three same network and the IP address of this machine is dot one three three. So now we go to the clients to our server and uh, run some command which is uh, update our IP table 
yeah this is let's see the rules in our id tables this is work uh, uh, as a firewall here so the id tables here all the rules are by default accepting any packets coming in uh, forwarding or any coming uh, for or any outputs so we need to add that ip address to our rules this is the ip address 133 and this is uh, dash is mean the source any packets coming from this ip address coming to the input chain we should drop it okay let's run this one and check our rules again yeah now we have it here our rule is updated so let's go back to the server side uh, client side and try to yeah if you, uh, as you can see here we are not able to connect to the client to the server still loading because we already drop any buckets coming from this machine so this is how we can stop such kind of attack and uh, yeah this is how I done perform the denial of service attack start the attack from this machine and uh, using the IP address and using this command by using sorry using this uh, script specifying this command so but as you s just show you that I could stop this kind of attack by updating our IP table here still the same rules drop any packet coming from this IP address this is the end of this uh, video and thank you